everybody, and welcome back to yet another review and to another episode of the Final 50. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Fireball Beach Racer Rich Mixon, a car that, like everyone in the Final 50, I have never reviewed before on my channel. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. I haven't done one since November, since in December I was busy with 25 Days Suggestions, and then in January I was busy with um, the Christmas haul videos. But for those of you who don't know, the Final 50 is a series I started last summer. For a few years now, Robin Tails Fighter and I have been keeping a list of every car's item uh, that I've never reviewed before on my channel, and after keeping that list for a few years, we realized that the number had been whittled down to only 50 cars, and thus the Final 50 was born. In each episode of this series, I review a car that I've never before reviewed here on my channel, and uh, Rich Mixon is kind of an interesting one. If you know me and you know my videos, you know that I review every single car's item that I purchase, whether it be something new just coming out now or an older item that I've just added to my collection. And Rich Mixon came out in 2018 as part of the Fireball Beach Racers line. Um, and in 2018, I had my channel and I was reviewing every item I got. So why didn't I review him? Well, the answer was honestly kind of simple. I found Rich Mixon in store right after Christmas of 2018. That was the biggest Christmas haul I'd ever gotten, um, was Christmas of 2018. And also, uh, my stores had just got a bunch of new stuff in after Christmas of 2018. And one day I walked into my stores and I found Fireball Beach Racer Rich Mixon and the Fireball Beach Racer Mater variant, the one that's looking down instead of having his typical eye expression. And I picked both of them up and... I decided, you know what, I have so many cars to review, I could just open up Rich. He's no different than the regular Rich, he's just Rich Mixon with sand. I also didn't review the Mater. So yeah, one of the very few times on my channel where I decided not to review an item that I had just gotten, even though it was a relatively new item at the time, I think it was a few months old, three or four months old, um, at that point. So yeah, never got around to reviewing Beach Racer Rich. Eventually, Robin actually suggested uh, the Beach Racer Mater variant as a birthday request a few years back, so I reviewed him, and now Rich is finally getting his time in the spotlight. And honestly, I'm kind of excited to be reviewing a Beach Racer now. It's been five years since these came out. Jeez, 2018 was so much longer ago than than, than I feel like it was. I, it feels like it was so... It feels like it wasn't that long ago. Anyway, um... It's kind of nice to look back on the Beach Racers now because I feel like a lot of fans, in hindsight, don't like them. Uh, these are followed by several way, way better series featuring variants of Cars 3 characters. After the Beach Racers, we got the Thomasville Racers, then we got the XRS, the Endurance Racers, the NASCAR Racers, the Fireball Beach Racers. I wouldn't call them the Black Sheep um, because they're not, like, neglected or rejected or anything. I just say they, they kind of stick out because they're easily the least interesting. They're just regular variants of next gens with this sand detailing on them. But for what it is, it is very nice sand detailing, and they all have an interesting overspray on them to uh, make them look all sandy. It's kind of hard to tell with someone like Rich because his color's already so light. You tell better in person, and also when you check another car like Richie guns it here. Another reason why these cars are notable, um, other than being the first variants of many next gens that have since gone on to have several other variants. Uh, it was also, this series was our first way of getting certain characters like Cam Spinner and Richie Gunzit. Um, but yeah, just your basic Rich Mixon here. TC Tank Coat logo there. Moving on to the sides, you can see, got all that sand upsplash detailing, and I really think this looks really good. It really does look like he's driving through and getting sand all splashed on him, and these wheels. These wheels are really nicely detailed. They're how I wish Mattel handled the salt flats cars, but instead they just did flat white for whatever reason. But yeah, see, this is really realistic, I feel, for a car that's being coated in sand. You can see the bottoms of the wheels are fully done in tan. Um, and then on the sides, we have sort of just the upsplash. And I don't know, I think that looks really, really good. And yeah, you could argue, oh, the whole bottom should also be speckled, but hey, they did the sides. To me, that's really all that matters because that's all you're going to see. We got the number 36 up there, tank coat logo on the spoiler. Again, very light because of that sort of sandy overspray. Uh, wash over TC on the back, 36 and tank coat logo there. Uh, he has his rookie stripes, or no, he does not have his rookie stripes is what I meant to say. Um, 
Yeah, Mattel was nice enough to remove the rookie stripes from the next gen, signifying, of course, that this Fireball Beach race takes place after Cars 3. It's always nice when they do that, of course, um, since these toy lines are presumably meant to be canon. It's cool to see them sort of adhering to the Cars lore and timeline and all that. There's a look at the other side. And there is a look at the base once again. So yeah, really not that much to say about these individual items. I fully understand why I uh, chose to pass up reviewing this guy back in the day. Honestly, if you've seen one Beach Racer, you've seen them all. Um, but like I said, I feel like now, all these years later, it is sort of interesting to look back on the series. And that's where I, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think of the Fireball Beach Racers. What are your thoughts on the series as a whole? Um... Do you like them? Do you not like them? Did you like them when they came out and not like them anymore because we've gotten better series since? Definitely let me know because I think they're in sort of an interesting place where a lot of people liked them when they were coming out because they were a new concept. And now that we've gotten so many expanded universe Cars 3 racer series, the hype is really sort of died down for these guys. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time for another episode of The Final 50. Bye now.